Hello, gamer nom is back. So for today's Blastfruits video, we are going to help this noob reach max level using the light fruit. But before we start, you can show your support by using star code gamer nom when purchasing your Robux. Where the actor slam on oh, their dancing forward, there's your slam, there's the dump. Okay, so let's start grinding. First off. The first skill of this fruit is the light beam. So this skill is multi-target which makes it really good for grinding. Next up, the light sword. Yes guys, this fruit has a left click. So if your skills are in cooldown, you can use your left clicks to damage your enemy. One last thing, this fruit is elemental or logia. Which means if you reach a certain level, your enemies without haki cannot damage or hit you. I hope everything is clear. Our goal in this first island is to reach level 12. Because at level 12, you will unlock your light flight. And we will use this to go to our next island, the Fountain City. Okay guys, so here you're gonna do the Gali Pirate Strat. Just lure them here, no damage. Grinding levels in Mastery is really fast here. So make sure to take advantage of this. Okay, you will unlock your third skill, the Light Barrage. Now you have two skills to damage your enemy, plus the Light Sword. The goal level here is third level. 37. Stat check. Melee defense 5, block fruits 101. Next island is the pirate village. So here we're gonna start with the pirates guys as you can see. Logia or elemental effect. They cannot damage you which means they're easy to defeat. Gold here is 43. Next up the brutes. Same with the pirates. They cannot hit you but make sure that you are level 43. Okay. Next up at level 55 you can start defeating Bobby or Buggy the Clown. Guys I'm going to give you a choice. Whether you defeat Bobby the Clown until you reach level 60, do server hop, or go back with the boots, okay? The stat check, melee defense 15, block fruits 153, next island is the desert. So here we're gonna start with the desert bandits. Again, if you're level 60 and you are using light fruit, they cannot hit you. There you go. Grinding is fast here. Next up, level 75, desert officers. Same guys, if you're level 75, if they cannot hit you. Just use your left clicks or even your skills to make things faster. Next up, level 90, the Frozen Village. So first up, let's do some shopping. We're gonna buy the Sky Jump, the Enhancement, and the Flash Step. Go straight to the Bandits after that. Again, if you're level 90, they cannot hit you. Logia effect. Grinding is really fast. Next up, level 105, you can start defeating the mini boss in this island, Yeti. And by this time, you've already unlocked your fourth skill, the Light Kick. Now we have 3 skills to damage the enemy and 1 skill to transport or travel faster. Okay, you're gonna keep grinding here until you reach level 130. We're gonna check our stats again. 70 for melee, defense 60, block fruits 251. Next up, the marine fortress. So we're only gonna defeat the vice admiral here. The technique is lure him. This area, jump, use your left clicks and that's it. Or you can use your Z and X skill. Avoid using your C skill because it might knock back the Vice Admiral and in exchange he will use his range attacks. Guys, you want to avoid him using his range attacks. There you go. Guys, when you continue grinding here, you will unlock your V skill, the Sky Beam, another skill that can be used to damage the Vice Admiral. You're gonna continue grinding here until you reach level 220. Next up, the Prison. We have three bosses here. First is the Warden. You can do the Wall Strap, guys. Okay, left clicks and use your skills. That's enough. Next up, the Chief Warden. Same guys, Wall Strap is good. The only exception is the Swan. If you have low HP, you cannot use your left clicks, but you can use your skills. I'm gonna show it to you guys. I'm near the enemy, right? I have low HP. Just one of his skills can damage half of your HP. So my solution to that is just create distance and that's it. Okay, so the goal here is to reach level 350. And after that, I decided to unlock the Observation Hockey. I rarely do this guys, only if I am going to reach max level with a certain account, okay? Okay, so next island is the Magma Village. We're gonna defeat the Magma Admiral, guys. Use your skills, right? Now we're gonna use our Observation Hockey to dodge his skill, but if you want, you can use your dash to dodge it, okay? We're gonna stay here until we reach level 425. Let's check our stats, melee 286, defense 335, blocks fruits 657. Next island is the underwater city, and our enemy is the fishman lord. So this is how you defeat him. Lure him using your skills, look for a window of your choice, and use your left clicks or your skills. You can use your observation hockey to dodge some of his attacks, and that's it. 
Our goal level here is level 500 and next stop, back to the Skylands. Target is the Whisper. You only need to remember this rock, this area, and that's it. This enemy cannot hit you but in exchange you can hit him. Very easy, right? Okay, our next target is at level 575 and that boss is the Thunder God. Okay, remember how you defeated Mag Bad Admiral? That's how you will defeat this enemy. So use your skills, use your observation hockey, or your dash to dodge his attacks. Your target level here is 675, and after that, final island, the Fountain City. Straight to the boss, the Cyborg. Guys, again, same with the Whisper, remember this area. You can hit him, but this enemy cannot hit you. Again, imagine the final boss being able to dodge all his attacks while you hitting him. Very easy, right? Again, guys, remember this area to make your grinding really faster. Okay, so once we reach level 700, we're gonna leave this map, okay? We're gonna go to the second C, make sure to do the quests, and after that, we're just going to awaken all the light fruit skills, and we are going to go back to the first C, okay? Now, Fountain City again. Now I'm gonna give you a choice. So first, you can start defeating the Galley Pirates. Again, Logation Effect. There you go, as long as you have the level requirement. Or you can go back to the Cyborg and reach level 742. And that is the time that you will grind in the second C. So for our first mob, the Mercenaries. If your level is 742, no problem guys. This mobs cannot hit you. Easy grind guys until you reach level 750. When you reach this level, you can now start defeating one of the boss in this island, Diamond. Guys, the good thing with this fruit is you can travel really fast. Plus, we've awakened all the skills. Which means the damage is kinda high, okay? So there you go, you're gonna grind here until you reach level 792. Check our stat first, melee 390, 520 defense, block fruits 1472. Next up, the Swan Pirates. One of the easiest mob to defeat here in this sea. There you go, just lure 4. And remember, Logia, Elemental in effect at this level, so no damage. At 850, you can start defeating Jeremy or Bellamy in one piece, so he's easy to defeat. So guys, you're gonna grind this boss until you reach level 900. After that, we are going to our next island, the Green Zone. Okay, so we're gonna start here with the Marine Captains. Guys, lure them without hitting them. That's my one tip here. So you can burst them afterwards. There you go. Because they have Haki, so they can damage you. But don't worry. You only need to level up 25 times here. And after that, we're gonna proceed to Fajita or Fujitora. There you go. So again, the technique here. Guys, you need to create distance every time you use all your skills. For example, see that guys? We've dodged his skill. There you go. Use your all your skills. Dodge. Great distance, and that's it. As a reminder, you can also grind with the zombies. That's a lot easier compared to fighting this one, but I decided to defeat this boss until I reach level 1020. Next area is the snow mountain. So here, we're gonna defeat the snow troopers. Again, log is in effect. Very easy, guys. Just do left clicks, use your skills to defeat them until you reach level 1132. Next up, the land of the hot and cold. So guys, Lab Subordinates is our target here. Again, dog is in effect. Check that out guys, very easy. Second C and enemies can still hit us. There you go. You're gonna grind here until you reach level 1150. And after that, my favorite boss is Smoke Admiral. With just one combo, I'm gonna show you his HP. Check that out, almost dead. So two combos, you can even use your left clicks to defeat him and you have Observation Hockey. Very easy. Next up, the Curse Ship. Level 1289, the ship deckhands, again logi effect, no more tips here, just keep on defeating them. Next up at level 1342, the ship stewards. So guys, same with the ship deckhand, lure them, logation effect. So again, I've tried maxing out Buddha, Magma, and Light, so I think this is one of the best, if not the best fruit for grinding, I'm telling you guys. Overall, so stat check, melee 615, defense 1267, max block fruit. Next up, the ice castle, again 1394. Guys, let's be honest, you can reach 1500 with the arctic warriors, I'm telling you. But I decided to start defeating the ice admiral, awakened one, because I know his weakness. Check this out guys, he cannot damage me, see that, just lure him there. And you can even drink your coffee while defeating him, okay? So the goal here is to reach level 1473. Oh, a library key. Use it to open here and unlock the death step. But we're just gonna focus on grinding. There you go. 
Last island is the Forgotten Island. At again, at level 1473, you can defeat the Sea Soldiers. Logia is in effect. There you go, Elemental Effect. Easy, guys. Easy. Okay. Again, you can reach 1500 here. Or, again, guys, you can start defeating the Tide Keeper. Again, if you're gonna ask me, defeat the Tide Keeper. More experience. But you're gonna do server hop with that. There are even Bounty Hunters. So I suggest you just stay with the Sea Soldiers. Don't worry with the experience. We're gonna go into here until you reach level 1552. Stat check, max blocks fruit, defense 1556, melee 800. Now we are ready to move on to the third seat. Can we get serious now? Okay, so let's get serious now. And to start our grinding, we're gonna go with the pirate millionaires. Guys, as you can see, the advantage of having elemental log effect. They cannot damage us, which makes grinding a lot faster. But guys, don't forget, at level 1550, you can start defeating stone. There you go. But I suggest just go back to the pirate millionaires, keep on defeating them until you reach level 1579. Okay, so next up, guys, we're gonna start defeating the pistol billionaires. Same strategy, guys. Since you're elemental or log effect, you can easily defeat them. You're gonna leave this island when you reach level 1658. For the stats, max block fruits, melee 830, defense 1844. Next island is the Hydra Island. Your set of enemies, the Dragon Crew Archers, again, log is in effect in this level. So, again, no problems in leveling up. When you reach level 1675, you can start defeating the Island Empress. Guys, you can defeat her easily by doing this. The wall strat, lure her here. There you go, use your long range attacks. You can do server hop with this mob, but again, there are lots of uh, bounty hunters, etc., which will make things harder. So I suggest just focus with the female islanders. Guys, I made a mistake. You should only level up here until you reach level 1750 and you should head straight to the Great 3. Why? Guys, you can start defeating Kilo Admiral. You can defeat him without getting damage. Just go on this rock and use your skills. Again, guys, the best thing to do here is do server hop with this boss even though there are lots of bounty hunters. You're gonna level up fast here without getting damage. Next up, at 1,843, you're going to grind in the Floating Turtle with the Fishman Raider. There is an elemental effect, but they can hit you with their skills. I'm gonna show it to you. This is skill, guys. This one, okay? So make sure to... Oh, guys, I recorded this one, a Bounty Hunter. So he's an Awakened Magma Fruit user. I decided to fight him because, guys, as we all know, Magma Fruit has a high damage, but its mobility is kind of bad. So... Even though he had the free hit, I know that we will be able to defeat him. So aside from the Awakened Magma, he used Electric Claw. Guys, the funny thing is he tried to run away from a Lightfoot user. <laughs> well, anyways, we defeated him. Back to grinding the Fishman Raiders. So I'm gonna do this until I reach level 1868. And after that, Fishman Captains. So again, Log is in effect. So guys, as you can see, we've skipped a lot of mobs because they have Haki. Next set of mobs, the Jungle Pirates. Same guys, Logia Effect. Guys, it's okay. Don't worry about the experience because the experience is not that far compared to the quests that we are doing. Let's do some stat check before we move on to our next target. Melee, 1,403. Defense and Blast Fruits Max. Next up, Musketeer Pirates. So again, Logia is in effect. No more discussions here. No more tips. Just lure them and defeat them. Okay, so at 2055, we're heading towards the Haunted Castle. Guys, remember the Reborn Skeletons? This is the only mob that you will defeat, okay? So lure them, defeat them, get some bones. There you go. If you want, you can get two times experience from using bones. We are leaving this area at 2161. Stat check. Max Blast Fruits, Defense Max, Melee 1883. Last Island is the Sea of Treats. We're gonna focus on the Peanut Scouts. You need to defeat 8. This is how you lure them. 1, 2, 3, and 4. Again, Log is in effect. Elemental. No worries. Go easy grinding. You need to do this twice to finish a quest. After this, the last mob that you need to defeat at 2213, the Ice Cream Chefs. So same guys. They cannot hit you. Log Elemental is in effect. You're gonna grind the remaining 87 levels. But guys, if you want things to be harder at 2175, you can start defeating 
the cake queen and you just do server hop there you go so as a bonus we defeated her for our last level and guys that's it we've reached max level 2300 with the light fruit so guys what do you think is this one of the best fruits to grind in blast fruits for me yes so for any suggestions just comment in the comment section again to all the viewers subscribers supporters i really appreciate you all this is gamer Nom, and gamer Nom out